Look at her. Look at look at Storm. She's gone. No She's powers. Gone. I will kill you, but I won't. <laughs> Thank you, God. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, JR. Bah. Isaiah. We are the Eclectic Nerds. Thank you for joining us. Uh, again, we're going to be in our own little world and discussion of X-Men. This is going to be for episode six and seven. Uh, quick recap. A lot has happened. Key points. Gambit is dead. Damn. I'm just going to drop it. Damn. Gambit is dead. And we have to see what has happened at Genosha and... We were brought into episode six. Episode six uh, started us off with the like a little war scene, I guess it was. Yeah, where it was yeah. everybody was fighting. A little battle. Um, and then we see uh, the Shi'ar, I guess the sister to the Empress of the, the Shi'ar. Death bird. Or <laughs> Death bird. Or mean lady. Mean uh, lady. <laughs> black bird in the sky. <laughs> I think it's Death bird. Yeah. Yeah, Death bird. Um, so we get uh, Death bird. Uh, gladiators there. Uh, and a couple other heroes. Uh, get Gladiator was going crazy in this uh, in this fight scene. It was really really cool to see him just kind of supermaning it up for real. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um, so that was really cool. Uh, and then we moved to their um, kind of home world, and we see the queen. And then out of nowhere, you see my boy Charles Xavier come up with the with the the armor suit on that's helping him walk and he got the cape on him, you know what I'm saying? Looking clean. Uh so Xavier allowed him well, um, you know, in his little love triangle with the uh, uh Shiar Queen lady. Um boy out there getting me. I am not lying, bro. She was in love with this man. The whole episode they boot up for real. Um Choose me, screw your kids. Yeah, for real. You, you want so, me, right? Yeah. You want me. So they announce that uh, Xavier is going to be, or they're going to get married, um, and Xavier will be the king of their empire. She um, are. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people did not like that very much. Can you imagine? Them. They were like, the Terran. Yeah. How is the Terran going to be our king? Yeah, I guess they see humans as like lower life forms. Self species. So, so right. you know, they're not too happy about that, mm -hmm. um, which cues like a, like a council meeting of the high ranking elders, I guess. Um, and they hit him with a trial um, such that he can uh, prove that he will denounce his human side and mutant side, I guess, and become a full Shi'ar repping ball dude with a robot suit. Yeah, and you know what? To, to piggyback on that, Deathbird really came in on that with some hate, bro. Yeah. She came in saying, like, you really want to be with us, denounce your X-Men. Yeah. Denounce being a mutant, cut all ties to the point that she's pretty much asking for him to have a lobotomy and, like, have uh Oh, yeah, because he got to uh, delete his memories, his, too. Delete his memories and everything, and he was yeah. like... Oh no, man! That's, that's my people. Yeah, I like those guys. I like those guys. I mean, they are me. A couple of them cool. Yeah, I'm about Scott. You know, he was like, I don't know. And she, the, the queen is like, well, if you love me, which is very toxic, by yeah, the way. Gaslighting, bro. Gaslighting. Yeah. Message. Yeah. Message. From there, we we kind of cut off to Earth. But to be honest, everything that's happening here is just how can I put it? It's uh, it's sadness. It's recovery. It's Genosha, the le uh, what's left of it, and um, we see Beast talking with the uh, the the reporter, and it's you can tell you know they're a little booed up a little bit. She she she's you know she she fancies him a little bit, and she, she want to know what that Beast do. <laughs> Blue blushes too, baby girl. Oh. <laughs> Blue blushes. <laughs> No. That's a bar, bro. That is. That, that is. was a crazy bar from him. And what was that episode like four or whatever? Mm -hmm. okay. By the way, let me let me take a moment and let y'all know that the eclectic nerds congregation, uh, we fully aligned with King Kunta, Kendrick Lamar. So, so. shout out K, K Dot, Kung Fu King, mm. all of his alter alternate personalities. Mm -hmm. We love all y'all. <laughs> Back to our regular scheduled program. So we we're, we're in Genosha and they're discussing the events that have happened. And it's really sad to see that even after this humanity, they're already prejudging, I guess, the the reaction of the mutants, which is which understandable. Is wild, bro. Which nah. is understandable. Which is understandable, right? At the same time, they just lost so many of their people. Yeah, they lost and like figures of their community that we know of. We 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 for sure we lost. 
Gambit, we've lost Banshee, mm. we lost Marrow, mm. we've lost the um the Marauders mm. of oh, poor Leech, man. The Leech. the dude was held on to Magneto in his last second. He believed. He believed, man. He believed that somebody will take care of him, and that's that's huge, right? And for the reporter to be here, kind of questioning like their motives and are you guys gonna fight back? Blah blah blah. They Ooh. weren't there, they, bro. I. Because it touches so close to home, you know, being X-Men, it just... We're X-Men. Yeah, yeah, literally. Uh, like, it got to me, which is, you know, shout out to the storytelling. Because, like, if you're able to feel those emotions, it was just, it got me so, it got me under my skin with that report. It's like, bro, people just died. And you're over here, you're here just like, so you're not going to attack, right? Like, yeah. That's yeah. insane, bro. Can we, like, like so warn? We, can we can... take a minute to, like... Not even bro, that. I was like, she needs to be. She, she's next. Bro. Not even that. Not even that. They they have to fight to ask for tolerance. Not even acceptance at this point. Tolerance. Because what's happening right now in, in, in the world of X-Men 97 is there's a huge divide. So now humans think that the X-Men are going to... Or the mutants in general are going to revolt and fight back. Which is a honest reaction. Even uh, B said it. The uh, riots are the, are the voice of... Um, he quoted MLK. Mm, message. Yeah, he quoted. Uh, he something along the lines of like, riots are the voice of the of the unheard, which I believe. You know, I mean, he quoted MLK for that, but even that tells you a lot. They're just trying to live their life and be themselves and not really mess with anybody. It's not their fault that they have power. It's not their fault that they, you know, went through that pubic change or whatever. But to even have to defend that in a time of tragedy says how much. How, how screwed up the world is and yeah, it really is kind of connected to what we go through now yeah um they, they really made a point of like how ugly humanity can be mm -hmm. so well like, like yeah because it's a reflection of today or even though it's said in 1997 this ages so well it's crazy yeah, yeah that, man, that thing irked me so bad yeah i felt i felt bad too i was like man let me get out here go wild with my powers and even uh seeing beast unease at that conversation you know, when he is such a, you know what I'm saying? Like, Calm, eloquent. And very, yeah. It's so, it's, it hurts so bad to see him like that. Hurt. Where he's like. Really? Can we, like. <laughs> really? This, this is what you want to talk <laughs> this about? This is what we're doing right now? Like, <laughs> like I would have expected you, you know, blah, blah, blah. He, he, he gave some, he gave some attitude. And I was like, I've yeah. never seen Beast like that. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I mean, whoa. we've seen him in the original series. He had another episode. He had a similar situation with that uh with someone but even then like he's the he's like the voice of reason and morale yeah in the team so for him to kind of be ticked off in that sense i was like yo it, but it's I really getting under his fur yeah wow but i think it had to yeah. be him yeah. like if, like just story wise right wise, yeah it had to be him because anybody of, else it's cheaper and yeah it's cheaper not. and it's expected but for you know him specifically to be like what are you shut up like yeah, dude, that's <laughs> okay crazy. so let, let's look into it that makes two because we already had cyclops in the previous episode with mm. that same reporter well, but um, Cyclops' was a bit different because Cyclops was falling into his own ego, whereas I think with Beast, it was him losing his character in a moment of weakness. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, yeah. Because with Beast, like, that's not who I am, but, like, for real, like, you got to chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. whereas with Cyclops, it's like, I'm tired of this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> Oh, um, my kid. Right. My girl left me. Exactly. I don't like, know my ex. <laughs> Who's my ex? Who's my girl? I Who just, knows? My life's a shambles. I have needs. Damn. Get up and punch the chair. <laughs> Break it. <laughs> <laughs> Off the bunch. <laughs> Screw your cameras. Damn. Uh, but yeah, uh, we moved from there uh, uh, back. Or we'll move in back and forth between Xavier and this uh, plot line for a while. Um, um, Xavier essentially um, is losing the argument with the elders and um, kind of like uses his uh, psychic ability, or I'm sorry, his um, telepathic. Yeah, telepathic abilities to put everybody into a bit of a classroom so he can kind of teach them the importance of his past and what that means to him mm -hmm. Not literally like, professor x <laughs> right for real like gets the chalkboard and the pizza chalk and it's like right, right, you know right. class has started yeah demerits yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite one. demerits yeah um but uh he essentially um uh in the midst of doing this gets like a psychic blast of like What's all the crap that's going on on earth um you see the 
mega like giga gambit comes out of nowhere and then his face turns into like uh, dead yeah like just a <laughs> skeleton as it burns off or whatever um and he, i guess he felt what happened to all the people on genosha which was a tragedy just, yeah really... which also just a, a testament of his power yeah yeah he's straight he's, up yeah he and <laughs> light years he straight up goku's Bam! <laughs> <laughs> hey, their energies are falling. I, Why? I don't feel this energy anymore. Um, um, yeah. Uh, something very telling though is uh, in this episode, if you pay attention, you see a bunch of people um, that died, but you don't see one Magneto. Dun dun dun. Theory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but anyway, um, uh, due to the um, psychic glass that he gets, he kind of drops his uh, telepathic connection to everybody um, and kind of falls over and is like, I got to get back to my kids, essentially. Um, and then the last plot line. My children. Bro, I ain't going to lie. When he fell, I thought he was dead. Because the face, the way they drew, he was. <laughs> I was like, bro, is he dead? What just yeah. happened? Like, <laughs> just brain blasted the kid. I, like, he was meant to move bro. his leg or something. <laughs> but no, he was, he was a potato. Uh, the last storyline that, that we have of the episode is with Storm. So Storm is helping Forge with his uh, bite that he got from the... Curse mark. Yeah, yeah, essentially. <laughs> from, uh, from whatever they, that falcon demon thing was. I forgot what name was. Something with a G or E. Ain't no telling. It but just, I love the design of it. That's, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Terrifying. For real. And it was the shape um, of an owl, which was symbolic because owls were showing up in that episode, too. I was like, mm-hmm. I see what they did there. Mm-hmm. And they were twisting like the exorcism. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yo, he, off the bat, the animation keeps on getting better and better in the form that they're they're conducting everything, man. Like from from the hints of blood, because we didn't really have that before, mm. to the action, to the to to like the gore and the disintegration of people and stuff. That Dude, was crazy. It man. is in the, other, in the other episode. I keep on telling people this show is for the kids who grew up watching it, man. Yeah. This is for the grown folks. Not for the children. Mm. It's very adult swim. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll tell yeah. you for yeah. sure. I uh, it's growing on me. I'm still not 100 percent sold on the animation style, but it is it is growing on me. Um, I still don't like when talking heads are talking just because it looks super weird. Like very. Yeah, it is archer. a little off tempo. Yeah, very archery the way that their faces are drawn in those. Like I just. Uh, but um, uh, essentially, Storm has to take uh, Forge to a mountain. Um, because they have to get some medicine from, like, cactus or something. And um, uh, in doing so, um, the big angry owl lady comes back and um, is trying to kill Storm. Storm uh, uh, kind of... Feeding off of her insecurities. Yeah. Um, and So it's just a Native American demon, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A skinwalker, uh, yeah. perhaps? Who knows? Mm-hmm. No you know what's crazy? That the fact that owl, you know what's other mm-hmm. owl? Drake. All right. Oh. So, continue... <laughs> <laughs> Hobo. Uh, so Storm uh, reactivates her powers, uh, trying to save uh, Forge and uh, get that little cactus thing. Let's uh, go. She essentially pops out of a mountain and then does her little I got my powers back moment, which was really cool to see. Uh, essentially, she's like flying and there's some uh, wild Mustangs running around and she uh, like flies next to him and touches the hair, and touches the ground and flies she over She's one with nature again. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Power, that, the, the return power buildup was so nice. Yeah, it was really nice. I she, love her she was music like, in the oh, show. Oh, nature, nature. And then I'm about to fuck you up. Yeah, <laughs> oh I love God. this. I love this. B plot line of like Storm kind of being by herself mm. because I feel like it's leading to the Storm being the leader of the next season, which is all I'm asking for. I yeah. think that's uh, it's really cool to see her like taken away and like lose her powers and get them back. Um, because I know as soon as she steps foot back into the main story, she's running it. Bro. She gonna be she gonna be fucking. I'm a new woman. I don't know who is gonna be, but somebody getting fucked up. Damn, <laughs> Damn. I mean, but honestly, it's the the typical like leader trope, like, right? Uh, like the trials, tribulations, mm-hmm. you know, saying like, let's see you without your powers. Right. Well, look, you passed. Let's see you without everybody around you. Let's yeah, see you without yeah, your powers. Yeah. Who are you without everyone? Yeah, exactly. Can you stand on your own? Mm-hmm. What I did like about it is pretty much the radiation wore off already, and it was all mental. Yeah. So that's kind of to tell a story like, hey, you are your own worst enemy. Only you can hold yourself back from greatness, kind of yeah. thing. And when she came out. The homage to the original giant size first appearance of Storm yeah. in her all black suit, straight up seven. Well, it was right? white, and then it turned black. Well, it was white, she and then it turned to the black. Sky and then it turned black, and I was like, mm. yeah. bro, that <laughs> outfit 
straight up from giant size X Men. So sick. But Her first inter, appearance. Inter so image good. here. Or here. Image and image. Matter of fact. Thank you, there. Flip it. Those two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah that was awesome and after that you know Lali Dila you know we, we find out that she's back um, so happy but the episode is still not over towards the end we start seeing uh, Trask running away from somebody super scared super afraid mm-hmm. and I am glad to say we called it bye, bye, bye. Who is the one person who is chasing Trask? The none other than Michael Jackson. No. Oh. Sinister. Of course, dog. We called it, man. So we find out plot that plot thickens. Plot thickens, and we were right, for the record. Um, that Sinister got the code from Trask to activate Master Mold Giga Mold, and use Master it from Mold, the Giga Mold Master Mold Giga Mold, and that's how. The cookie crumbled in Genosha, so it was all uh, sinister plot up to now that we know of. But so, I still don't think he's like the head honcho. I think there's still another. Yeah, there's one more level. And we find that out in episode seven. Da-da-da, enter credits. Enter episode seven. We open up at the funeral of the Remy Gambit. The Creole before, legend. Before the episode even started. There was a hint of sadness because it's uh, okay with thunder, yeah, and yeah, rain, yeah. just thunder crazy. The rain. And then they did like a, oh. but like even before the X Men, the <laughs> <laughs> even before the uh, R.I.P. the Raging Cajun. Yeah, even before the intro played though, there was a little bit of like you know, saying, like somberness, and I was well, like, dang, that's that, crazy. So Marvel Animation actually has a new separate yeah, in- yeah, yeah. intro, and it's the the drums, and yeah, that's yeah, kind of yeah. what led up to it. Yeah. I like that simple, just straight drums mm. for their animation department. Cool. Drum, drums of liberation. This. That's a one of three parts. Okay. Nobody gives that one. Uh, <laughs> um. Perfect. So we do the funeral. Super sad. Yeah. We move from there to what's next? Um. Well, no, well, the the funeral le- leads up to our next uh, scene where oh, yeah, right. um everyone's kind of mourning. Uh, I gotta give credit to Nightcrawler, man. I mean, he is super bro, religious. Bro, those words, bro. His words. I felt like I was at the funeral. It hit me, man. Like, I mean, he is ordained, and just the, he used Gambit's catchphrases in his own funeral. Oh, bro, I'm it was you, perfect, man. The writing, oh, bro. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah, bro. this is this is definitely probably or this is definitely the second best writing on TV right now. Like it's it's mm-hmm. really really good. Who would you say first? Uh, uh, Shogun. Shogun's writing is it's insane. But that's go not, check it out. Yeah, Shogun really is. Shogun. So so yeah, we're going through that, and then we see Jubilee super upset because the one person you would think would be there, Rogue, is not. Um, mm-hmm. just saying like you know he did this for not just us, but he loved her. You know the the natural emotions of a person that you would feel love for, man. And she's just kind of upset that her presence isn't there. Yeah. She don't and know they, what happened to him. She, yeah, exactly. And then yeah. Logan, Wolverine, being hundreds of years old, pretty much tells her, like, hey, everyone mourns in their own way. Yeah. And, um, you know, I don't want anyone watching whatever lose anybody. But if you have, you know, like, you're not yourself when something like that hits you, man. That's fair. Yeah, um, bro. So, Oof. so whether you're going through some stuff or, or you've lost someone... Hey man, take your time. Talk to somebody whenever you're ready, but just know you're not alone in it. Um, and this episode definitely reflected that message. Message, um, because in the next episode we see Rogue go full bonkers, full crazy, and she's just zooming through the desert, going to a military base. Dum, 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 dum. And I'm not gonna lie, peak. Yeah, <laughs> peak Rogue for sure. Peak, for yeah. sure, because she just starts going ham on all their tanks. I was like, yeah. I was like, oh my god. And then there's Man. an homage to her power move from um, uh, Capcom versus Marvel, Ooh, Street Fighter versus yeah. Marvel. She does like the spin and like a down kick and mm-hmm. it zooms in straight anime style. I was like, oh, okay, anime influence right there. I love the, I, the kick. The like kick. the kick past the camera. That was, yeah. that was Dude, so I was like, that's, that's the, from the video game. The, the money guy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, bro. Yeah. Yes. Full all eight gates, um, <laughs> and she just started going crazy. And we get a little a little uh, look, and it's General Ross, 
for those of you guys who aren't familiar, General Ross is the guy who's pretty much trying to catch the Hulk at all times. Mm -hmm. And the Red Hulk. And the Red Hulk. Yeah. Iron Mm Hmm. So he becomes the Red Hulk later on in the comics. But at this point in time, uh, they're just referencing a lot of the 90s cartoons. Because there was an appearance of the Hulk in the, in the original X-Men. Yeah. Uh, there's appearance of Spider-Man. Hopefully we get a crossover. The Bugle, yeah, yeah. From like episode see, one or two, yeah, yeah. Episode one, we see Daily Bugle. And I think I saw like a Spider-Man like poster or like thing in the background. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of... There's like a lot that. of... We, we've never done our uh, Easter eggs or as much as we should. That'll but, be another video. Yeah, bro. There's just so much on it. Yeah. So we see that and she's just going ham. She's telling him, hey, where are you having uh, Bolivar... And, and Trask, like, where, what's going on? Where are they at? Where are you holding them? Before we get there, right before we get there, we get uh, General Ross inside uh, their base. What a fool. And uh, he says, <laughs> so they're concerned. Like, a lot of the workers for him are concerned. They're like, uh, are, are, like, should we be leaving? Like, what's happening? And he was That's like, a smart thing to do. His he was survival like, instincts hit. He we was should like, leave. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was so like, disrespectful. Well, technically, we're inside something that can house the Hulk, so we should be fine. Um, and then I like the way that the writers did this. They immediately write off how she gets in there, but essentially she just bursts through the top of it, like just punches it in. And she's like, my daddy always told me that breaking into jail is a lot easier than breaking out. <laughs> <laughs> she's not wrong. That was a bar. <laughs> so she's not wrong. What I found disrespectful was that he was like, we're not afraid of a mutant from the swamp. Yeah. I was like, bro, really? Well, the irony, because you, you got right. Yeah, yeah. Watching that, I was like, you don't know what mindset she is. You done done did it now. Yeah. Yeah, he's too confident. Yeah. The government. Yeah. That's why you lose. Um. So, yeah. So, then she pretty much is asking for information. He's not giving it. She's not having it. So, she takes it. And just uses her powers to absorb, bro. Honestly, all the information. My favorite type of rogue. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, um, rogue anti-hero, with a little edge. Anti-hero, yeah. ho- uh, rogue. Yeah. Okay. Anti-hero, anything I like, yeah, bro. Honestly. Get it, get it done. You have a moral compass. That's good enough for me. Right? I love when the moral compass starts to bend. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't, mm-hmm. you know, because rogue usually is like, all right, I gotta be a good guy because I'm a good guy now. But like right now, but it's she, like the situation that she's in. That sucker. She's is. a a brotherhood rogue. Right exactly. Now, you know yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. You, you, you got me. <gasps> I didn't. You didn't, I didn't want to bring out the hoop. You brought what? <laughs> from from four uh, forty origin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The little Kevin Hart part. The- yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. Did your boy? Did your boy? <laughs> yeah. Both y'all. Both y'all. Bang, bang. bang. <laughs> you want? He here now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, um, that, I just like spicy women, too. Yeah. Oh. Also, uh, so right after this, uh, we steal the information that we're going to get. We fly to a little cabin in the woods. And then as we're approaching the cabin, we see one Captain America shield here right in front of us. Like, he tried to tell us to back up. Which is... Honestly, I really like seeing Cap. I'm like, the yeah. The coolest frame in the show so far. Rogue picks up the shield and puts it on, bro. I was like... Yeah. That's kind of gas. Damn, girl. You look so fun. Um, <laughs> no, you didn't, man. <laughs> That's um, America right there. Oh. Um, but yeah, so she Pick. puts, picks up the shield, puts it on. Uh, and we thinking they're about to start squabbling or whatever, but um, essentially um, they wa- they start talking. Um, Captain America is talking about how he's trying to look into the situation as well. Yeah. But he has, uh, you know, the government and stuff. He has to rules. abide by that. Uh, yeah, a lot of rules and regulations. And you can't just do it however you want to. Not even um, that, dude. It, it's, it's the way that he said stuff, man. Yeah. Like, it, at that point, it made me not like Captain America. Yeah. Because he was like, look, you know, we're here. We're trying to do the same thing. And she's like, all right, cool. Let's go pop out. We'll handle it. And he pretty much says, ah, "Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. How would it look if I pop up with you? Right. What what yeah, message did that send? Too. I was like, really, bro? But you that's, represent but, but freedom? He, yeah, but he's playing. He, he's always playing politics. You know, he, has to, play. he has yeah. to play. He has to play. He got to ride the right. line, right? I think that's one of the great things. Until they made him register. Then what? Not then, 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 then he wasn't having that. Well, but I think I think that's the line that Captain that's America a, always walks, right? Yeah. Is where's what, the line? How where's far? The line, what is real freedom? I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, you know his motives are true and like for the people. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie to you. This whole like F, the, the these last two episodes, right? As stuff is going on with the whole reporter, this stuff with Cab, whatever. All I can think of is Magneto's freaking uh, uh, sentence. Like, True. What about the leaders? Early like, in the game, yeah. Early mm-hmm. in the, oh, the when he was at the UN and, oh, and the party. Oh, you're acting like terrorists. 
but, yeah. but all your leaders are terrorists. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, this is like, bro, the feeling is just keeps on piling up, piling up. I was like, Magneto speak no lie. I was like, damn. Magneto huh? speak truth. Made me question. Would Magneto I, was what, great. Magneto I, was bountiful. If I was in that situation, would I be Team Brotherhood or Team X-Men? Yeah. I'm leaning on Brotherhood, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably be anti-hero. One, because I don't really like to be cliquish. And two. Oh, my God. And, Jesus. Not the cliquish. And, and two. It really comes down to where you're at, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, it takes one bad moment in life to, yeah. to, to flip switch real quick. Yeah. That yeah. upbringing is crucial. It's easy it? to say, oh, I'm going to do this and do that. Until you're in that situation, you don't know how you're going to react. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, Magneto. also, your powers uh, yeah. affect, you know, what side of the fence that yeah. you'll probably grow up on. Because um, um, later on in the episode, I'll skip to this real quick because it's kind of relevant to what we talk about. And then we can go back to uh, the shed. But... Uh, later on in the episode, we have Jubilee and Sunspot going to see Sunspot's mom uh, and let her know that he's a mutant because she still doesn't know up to this point. Sweet. Earlier in the episode, they had a conversation about how, um, um, like, if something would have happened to him. How would they find um, out? Uh, yeah, how would you, like, your mama wouldn't, like, you, you would die and your mom wouldn't know your whole story. Like, yeah. she, you Which would, is fair. She would bury a stranger. And that Oof. cut crazy to me. I was like, that's insane. Um, so we uh, go to Sunspot, uh, to Sunspot mom, and we tell her, and she's like, well, I'm glad that you, yeah, she was essentially just like, I'm glad that you told me, but we knew already. And, and he was like, how did you know? And she was like, she was like, you burned down six houses. Uh, either you were an arsonist or a mutant, and I'm pretty glad that you were an arsonist. Or they hate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your draws be burnt every other day. So. Yeah. Um, and I think. <laughs> the boy got burnt chones, bro. <laughs> yeah, <not really. laughs> a whole new word. Word to like Taco Bell or something like that. Hey, bro, you gotta stop eating. They really burn it through your drawers. Yeah. Your power's activated when you eat Taco Bell, dog. No. Can't do it. <laughs> stop eating the salsa verde. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, and then we. I, I think uh, right after this, um, uh, they mention. Shit, I forgot what I was about It was say. PR. It's PR. Oh, right, yeah. She, she's like, oh, well, now that we know, we need to come up with some rules because of the company. Mm. We're rich. You know, mm. how is this going to reflect that we got to keep this low key? Oh, I, what I was going to say was um, uh, we were talking about how, like, where, like, your, like, what power you have and where you are and all mm. that. Um, this is the exact same story of Pyro. Like, if you know the story of Pyro, that's mm -hmm. exactly his story. Like, he grew up, he set a bunch of stuff on fire, he lost his parents that way. Like, he joined the Brotherhood because he couldn't control it, and then they kind of got him on the right path, and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so... A path. A path. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. man was going at yeah. power. <laughs> you can burn. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a very similar situation. So, like, your upbringing and everything would probably play into what side of the fence that you were on, especially in this universe that is written so well because, you know... It, like it's, it's just the clear divide. Yeah, exactly, divide. yeah. Path, path. Yeah, and it's like, it could be either one, but you wouldn't really know until it happened to you. Personally, I'd probably stick on the side of the X-Men because you know what I'm saying. We probably have a whole another episode of what powers we would have and oh what we do god. with them. Oh my god! That, that would be. I can go on this for like hours. <laughs> Nerd. This, this is our daily conversation, bro. For sure. Um, so yeah, we we get back to Rogue and Cap, and you can see there's a tension there because she expects him to to help. Off the I just, bat. honestly, yeah, I honestly expected him to help too. And then he goes, I can't because I'm Captain America. Red, white, and blue. I can't just show up with Swamp. You're a criminal right now. Yeah. Can't I think that. I think one of the big things about Cap, though, is that we don't know where his story is at right now. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think this is a common trope in Cap stories where he's like, I'm super, super over here. And then somebody challenges that and he kind of leans the other way. Yeah. And then he starts to understand, like, well, the actual line is wherever I make it. So I make my line here. And then that becomes that becomes as, his new as a character or as they written Cap, he's. He's always followed the rules, yes, but he's never not questioned people in power. The authority. If, if you yeah. really know Cap, he's always questioning. Yeah. Because he, he knows that true freedom isn't the government. True yeah. freedom is actual true freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, for him to... That's why I don't... I, I take it with a grain of salt when she he, like, hesitated. I'm like, hold on. Cap is still for the people. So, as of right now, he's probably agreeing, like, what's for... 
Big what, picture. For big a few picture majors. or what he's questioned and what he's discovered, he's like, okay, no, this this is the right way to him. You feel me? Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's why he gave her yeah. the bit of information that he did and kind yeah, of like yeah, yeah. sent her on her way and didn't yeah, really yeah. like try to hammer up or nothing, mostly because he would have got his ass beat, but also because Absolutely. <laughs> I mean I By Rogue, which I'm is not, not a bad ass beat. That, 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 yeah. I mean that fight would have been dope, but like at the end of the day, yeah, he would have he would have lost. Yeah. He would have gotten good licks though. Yeah, man. Possible. So we see Rogue fly off to Mexico based on the intel that she got from Captain America. And she finds Henry Geirich, the guy who, up to this point that we knew, uh, assassinated Professor X. Um, and to her surprise, he's not in a prison. He's literally in a resort, living in luxury, Crazy. running his own little experiments and hobbies with like pinning bugs and specimens and whatnot. And that already pisses her off because Bro, he is responsible for so much that's happened up to this point. The government was supposed to show consequences. And once again, what does the society do to X-Men? Screw them over. Screw them over. And it's like, man, man. I mean, we get that now. I mean, I'm not going to get into politics, but this kind of stuff happens all the time and it's not fair. Um, so she gets mad and she goes and he already knew she was going to show up. But he starts being cynical and evil, and he's like, "Nah, man. Uh, so what do you want? You're not. You're you. You have a moral compass, pretty much. You're not going to cross that line <sighs> to get the information because Gene's not here. X Men's uh, Xavier's gone. So how- and he said he had a uh, psychic uh, blocker. Oh yeah, something. he has psychic blocker, so you can't get info from me. Question: How did he get that psychic blocker? We'll find out later. Sinister, probably. Probably, or we'll find out. And then she's like, nah, bro. Takes off her glove. Pow. Michael mm. Jackson style. Mm. And just takes the, takes the information from him. And that whole scene looked like she was torturing him. Yeah. Lights are flickering. He's screaming. And so now she has info on what's going on, man. Mm-hmm. Did he die? Yes. Spoiler, he dies. Later on, we well find. Deserved. Well, well deserved. deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved. He's, uh, he's sleeping. And uh, Forever. up to this point, an unknown figure comes and just chokes him out in his sleep. <laughs> that whole scene, bro, I was like, yo, this is really dark. Mm-hmm. I like suffocation. I guess that's my what pillow. The, uh, the director was talking about when he said it was like, this is like the real beginning of the show for, you the, know, after the, five. Yeah. Yeah. No, after, no, technically, episode eight, right? Mm-hmm. This is where the real stuff happens. Yeah, but yeah. episode five is what leads to that. Mm. So mm-hmm. episode six and seven is like not necessarily filler, but it's connecting and now we're popping. Mm. Yeah, this is this is the true new storyline. Yeah, this, this is w- opinions at the end uh, and, and, uh, and uh, predictions. But from here, uh, we, we see um, the team realizing that they are having to make a trip because they're in Genosha right now helping out. Um, there's dialogue and whatnot and um, more alerts the team that Trask is on the phone. Mm. And they're like, what's going on? Why? And Trask, for some reason, has like a change of heart and he's giving them information to which the team is hesitant to take, right? You just tried to kill us. You built these robots. Why are you trying to help us? And he's like, nah, like this is this is above my head. I I, I didn't want it to go down like this. Um, gives him a code word, come through, and you'll I'll, I'll explain everything. So they go to Madripoor, and it's a giant building, office building, sorry. And they figure out that there are cybernetic human experiments happening. Mm-hmm. Per beast, it, this is technology that is light years centuries above or ahead of its time yeah so now the question is how did he get this technology who got the technology and why um there's a mixture of theories right and uh before we get to that we're going to continue this scene because it's important from there we see a completely different rogue um, mm, mm, mm. When they approach, Trask is about to out himself and jump off a building. Um, most heroes try to talk him out. And he tries to jump because he says, there's nothing left for me. Like, here, the information, do with that what you will. Rogue saves him. And tries to, like, help him. And says, hey, don't go out like that. You can help us. 
you know, like there's more to life. Trask responds with something along the lines of like, hey, I'm done. Like there's nothing left for me to do. Like he's pretty much saying like, I'm ready to go. And she says, okay. You and, right. And <laughs> drops him. <laughs> I was like, what? The whole scene is interesting because it's raining. Mm. Um, there's thunder, you could, and her hair's wet, so already you can see By the that neon foreshadow. Light, sign, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, very, very, like... Comic booky. <laughs> not even comic, but, like, like noir. Like, it's, like... Yeah, it's, yeah, very energy, Sin City. Sure. Yeah. Very yeah. Sin City. And <laughs> from there, everyone is, like, shocked. You know? Nightcrawler is, like, what did you do? Morph is, like, is this who we are now? Wolverine, that, Wolverine. That resonated a lot, yeah. Yeah. Is this who we are? I mean, I mean, right now? And then Wolverine is like, man, screw it. I, I, he should. I'd have killed him too. I yeah, yeah, he, he, was <laughs> like, he was asking for it. And that just tells you how how much Wolverine is like numb to yeah. his life, man. Like he's done so much. He's seen so much that he can't connect with anybody because they're gone. So good writing, good character attachment, and like everything matches. Um, imagine. But then, <laughs> but but then, let's, let's imagine like Rose. Like, what'd you do? Was like, you want to die? I just kind of who am I to decide? Right. right, freedom. So then, right then, there's an explosion, and it completely knocks out Rogue. Well, no, it was a punch. It, yeah, was, it, was, a punch. it was a punch. Yeah, yeah, it oh, was okay. a punch. He just hit a really well. It really looked like an explosion. <laughs> yeah, because it was just like fist, boom, and then. She was yeah, yeah. yeah, and next thing you know, like the, every, everyone is like, "What's going on?" Which caught me off guard. I was like, "Wait, you just knocked out Rogue? That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, that's tough because she has Miss Marvel level power. She literally just fought Giga Mold uh, two episodes ago. Yeah, <laughs> oh, broke in. Uh, Put the mitts on that thing too. Yeah, <laughs> and again, broke in the facility to hold the whole. Yeah, so like it was a paper, the power. like a paper uh, mache, uh, paper mache house, bro. Origami, bro. Yeah, bro. The Rogue is so cool. Um, so, so the next thing you know, we see that Trask looks like an exorcist demon because his head's all turned and whatnot. Because we forget he hit the ground, and I guess that's what activated. I laughed a little bit. I'm sorry, yeah. My morbid, my morbid humor. I was like, that's funny, yeah, man. He, he kind of activated, and now we have a cybernetic sentinel. Which I think is so cool. Yeah. I'm just scared. Well, yeah, in the comments, there's something like that too. There's a whole fight scene and knocked out Rogue. Nightcrawler saves her from falling off the building. Mm -hmm. Hard. They, he hard. bailed right in front of the yeah. screen again. So sick. Bro, Nightcrawler. So, I'm so glad. Just give him he, some swords and let him kill people. Come oh, on. It's right. coming. It's coming, bro. They, they have a leak and he's, he's, he's going to whip out the swords, bro. I'm so happy. Um, I hope it's like the traditional where he goes to a chest that he put away. He's like, I'll never use these again. <laughs> oh, no. Like Kratos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he pulls no. out the, the blades. <laughs> he pulls them out of his like uh, his, his monk outfit because he was in the monastery. He's like, I didn't <laughs> want these, but I have to Cuts do Cuts the monk outfit off. It falls off. It's his uh, regular suit underneath. But, but yeah. it was like, <laughs> but that Zoro like... <laughs> it's for their freedom. <laughs> like, bro. Anyway, so yeah. And then one of the cool things that kind of gave us uh, an idea of the power scaling. Mm. Cyclops clearly says we cannot pull our punches. He just took out Rogue. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yep. And then Morph, Morph, yes. Morph goes into Quicksilver. <laughs> he shifts into a Quicksilver goes and does not a damn thing. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> got boy backhanded. Speedster ah! probably wasn't the best option there. I mean, you know. It's, uh, there wasn't enough distance. He should have done like a, like a Mach 2 punch. You know what I'm saying? Back uh, up. He did yeah. go back and yeah. run no, it. If it a mass punch, bro, yeah. you got to run around the world. That would have knocked his boots <laughs> right off. I don't know. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. But it was good because then you see uh, he gets knocked out and then Wolverine reacts morph. So I was like, oh, that's your buddy. He gets mad. He gets rocked, which is a little weird to see like Logan be so attached to somebody. Morph. I was like, you don't, you don't care. He has friends. Uh, he has friends. He has friends. Most like, of them died, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has the money. But uh, I'm, no, I'm just used to seeing that type of uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That Logan just react to Gene. Yeah, yeah. literally. That's yeah, the only yeah. time I see him when he react like that. So I'm like, oh. That's a good friend for him, man. Yeah, bro. Like, brought him we beer. saw it like episode one. Like, he's like, hey, bro, I'm sorry you're feeling bad. Beer? Beer? Hell yeah. So, anyways. Hey, yeah, so he takes out Wolverine, takes out Beast. So now we're down four. Um, yeah, and then it was super cool to see Jean Grey, original Jean Grey, mm. start fighting um, with cybernetic sentinel humanoid. Oh, yeah, so he broke the building. And mm -hmm. then Cyclops was like, 
I'll get the debris, you get the building. So she catches the building with her mind. It just right? chugs it, bro, into the river. Yeah, it just yeets it into the river. And then Super they start, you know, it was like a Jean Grey and Cyclops kind of like, you know. It honestly, oh, ragtag duo yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It honestly looked, that fight scene with a uh, cybernetic sentinel. Yeah. Look like Naruto fight scenes when they're just or Dragon Ball Z when they're yes, just like sparkling. Yes, the drawn lines, dude, that was sick. I'm yeah. like, dang, they're really going fast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it comes down to it, and uh, they're they're losing this fight bad. Yeah, yeah. They're losing this fight bad. Knock down and, Gene. Yeah, and right when we think it's about to go down, we just see a EMP grenade land next to Cyclops and go off. Hold on, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not let's check. Right. When he has Cyclops down by his face, yeah, that was crazy. bro, yeah, I was like, was so "This is pure evil." This, like, yeah, what? What? He, I forgot what he said. He was like, um, "Didn't I tell you, uh, Scott? What did I tell you? I was like, you're something like that." Yeah. I was yeah. like, "He's about to die." <laughs> yeah, kill. man. You know what would have made that so much more interesting if you would like crush his visor, yeah, or something yeah. like leave him in in a state of pure pain. And helplessness. Helplessness. Well, we already got That boy had him by the... What's up, bro? It was crazy, though. Yeah, yeah. The fight scenes are so cool. And I think I think in the in this, the next episode, we're just going to see the scaling. Because it's going to go on for like three seasons. So yeah. it has to lead up to something. Yeah, hopefully five. Yeah. So the EMP goes off, and we see that it's Cable. Mm. Um, and so problem neutralized for now. And it's uh, an EMP. Yeah, EMP. Which is... I should have thought of it. You know, like, mm -hmm. That should have been the solution. Come on, Cyclops. You yeah. almost tried to just. Why couldn't Forge turn? Why couldn't Morph turn into Forge and just create that as scrap? Because that's Forge's power. It's yeah. super mm -hmm. intellect and yeah. technology. Yeah, the same thing that uh, it just, Rocket has. He had a whole bunch of cars, whole building. Yeah, bro. Quicksilver silver <laughs> collecting parts. He had literal just cyborgs at his back and call. Bro, you just walked up to him. Use a goddamn carburetor. <laughs> 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 it's a V8, damn it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we had the first interaction of Cable with Cyclops. That acknowledges the fact that that's his son. That's his son, and he Bro, finally clicks. When he looked at him for that long, I was like, "Oh, he knows!" Like, because he, he was like looking up his body, eyes. like, "Wait a minute." He's like, "Your <laughs> eyes." No, but the one that really hurt was he looks at Jean Grey, and he's like, "You're not her." He's like, "You ain't my mama." And then you, and then you see, like, "Hey, man, respect her, bro." That's, hey, you watch your mouth, son. That's where your mama came from, boy. Damn, literally, literally, literally. <laughs> the clone. <laughs> Um, that's his grandma. So let's <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait no, I got this, I got this. That's his wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay, I got go. this. All right. So technically, you are right. If we yep. put this into like a symbiote type to the thing, board, <laughs> if, if we think about this like a symbiote, right? Uh -huh. Cause clone. Yeah. Because Venom mm -hmm. is grand is the father of Carnage. Yeah. And then a toxin is his grandson. His grandson. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So that's your auntie. That's your grandma and your mother-in-law. This some real southern stuff right here, bro. Because <laughs> your daddy like her. They together. No, that's your auntie because technically... No, that's your mama. Madeline Price, oh, that's your grandma. No, they'll be, they'll be technically sisters. Cause no, look, because your mama, that's her mama. That's where she came from. Oh, yeah. So that's your grandma and your mother-in-law. Yes. <laughs> yeah. are, we, are we in Alabama? What's going on? Sweet hey, we had, hey, 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 Alabama. Hey, hey. <laughs> and we thought we, we thought Gambit was fucking south. Bro. <laughs> All right, pretty much telling them, hey, it's about to go down. Uh, this is not from here. This is not a drill. <laughs> it's not a drill. You guys were about to die. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. And if y'all don't fix this right now, it ain't gonna be much of a future to come back to. That's what he said. Yeah, Which for sure. Second time he comes back to the fucking. Plan. It's like again bro. to what you said. How are you late? <laughs> Why couldn't he just do that before Rogue dropped this dude and just say it? the intergalactic time highway had tolls, bro? My bad. I the theater. <laughs> it's traffic, bro. It's there traffic. was traffic in the time stream. You think I'm the only one traveling in time? <laughs> CERN did not turn on the hydron collider. He said, "You think I'm the only one traveling, traveling in time?" People trying to make new lives in the past. I'm sorry. <laughs> Captain America is still hogging up the main quantum use. Yeah. People want to yeah, go on yeah. vacay, okay? People want to go. People want to see dinosaurs, all right? Right? Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, no lie. But again, though, I'm telling you, all stories that revolve around time are dumb. How are you late? How are you late? I didn't put gas. Get there a month early. I didn't. I didn't put <laughs> this gas. Is, this is my thing. This is my thing. Right? Damn it, Tesla. 
this is my thing. So Cable knows, right, the exact moment when it starts, right? Because he teleports to it. Why didn't you come two months earlier and stop that nigga when they was making the robots? I mean, come on now. With time. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, we're messing with time and it, he don't want to change the timeline. Nigga, much. why? You just came back to change the timeline. There's consequences, bro. There's consequences. Time and, and then there's going to be consequences to you doing this shit. It's a whole paradox, bro. That, I guess it's the lesser of evil. This is why we can't have nice things. Look. your big ass all somewhere. Put metal on that thing. <laughs> Oh, glowing. Stop time. coming back, bro. Every time you come back, it get worse. Oh, LASIK one eye. <laughs> Damn, kiss tattoo on your eye. Take that shit off, bro. What's wrong with you? That's not cute, man. You're, you're not Tyson. Damn, not kiss tattoo. <laughs> Big old bulky cell. Cre- like creatine that, water muscles, god dang it. <laughs> Hairline. All right. Vibranium, vibranium in your neck. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn, move, no. bro. All stiff, all adamantium leg, god damn it. Because the last future was not as bad as this one gonna be. <laughs> I think it worse. You know what I'm saying? How do you make things? Guys, you're just you, making it worse. He's Stop like, coming back. He's coming back like, guys, you need to change something. I keep on going back to the future and it's worse. Bro, it's like. Stop. It's like the Flash TV show. Like, every time that nigga go back, it get worse, bro. Stop doing that shit, bro. Like every Once you mess it up once, it's done. <laughs> How many times do we got to do the, uh, uh, what's the, what's, what's the movie where he go back in time and change the shit? Uh, Flashpoint Paradox. How many times do we got to do this, bro? Stop coming back here. Stop it. You making it worse. We had Genosha. We was cool. I mean, you dumb ass. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mad. <laughs> Popeyes, I mean Popeyes. Chick fil A could have been open in Genosha a long time ago. I swear, bro, if I was in this world, I would be so mad at him, bro. Every time you come back, it get worse. I hate us. seeing you. Because every time I see you, I know shit's going down. I have to evacuate every time I see you. I need to leave. At this point, you're the Grim Reaper, bro. I don't uh, want to see you. Get away from me. Can bro. I just block you? We're not even friends on Facebook. <laughs> I don't want you no more. You just keep t- come back and tell me I'm fucking up. Like, how am I supposed to know that? What do, what do I do different? He's calm. You don't know. And then he hit you with, I can't tell you. Well, then shut up and leave. Because <laughs> if I tell you, that changes the future. No, <laughs> then leave. Dude, I'll beat just, you. Is that the point? <laughs> you just start bucking up at him. Ooh, what? Ooh. <laughs> I could beat your ass if I knew I could beat your ass. I know you. I can't beat you, dog. Oh, big metal arm, bitch. Four hundred pound motherfucker. Wait till Colossus get back in the show. I'm be fucking you up for <laughs> Hit you up with Colossus dead. Damn it! Why didn't you know I wanted to know that? <laughs> Start revealing stuff out of pettiness. <laughs> you will never be able to. I actually, I actually kill him in season six. So. <laughs> <laughs> You started one, one like a little kid. One day when I get strong, you won't ever see that day. <laughs> like I know the future. Nah, I'm no. gonna change the future right now. <laughs> my, my hatred for you changes the future this time. <laughs> Bow. Future's done. All right, I can go back. Oh my god. But yeah, you see what I'm saying though. Every every time storyline, just stop using it. It just makes everything worse. Like the less timey wimey shit we do, the better it's gonna be. Rant over. Carry on. All right. So then we see that Bastion is going to, I don't know, torture, but he's talking to Magneto. Mm-hmm. And he's alive. But he has the Well, we didn't see that one coming. Mm-hmm. Whoa, yeah. Look at the last episode when we say that that nigga ain't dead. Yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the body. I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember I said there was, that? There was, was, like, there was no funeral for Magneto. I was like, the, cra- the ground broke. That's, oh, yeah, and that's then, right. Yeah. There's no funeral. That's there was fucked. no funeral for Magneto. Oh, there was no funeral. That's fucked. That we know of. But overall, damn, they should have showed that. I would mean, believe it more. That would be more dramatic. Well, and uh, like I was saying, it would have been cool if humanity held a funeral for Magneto. We don't damn well that would never happen. Yeah, that, he no, no. Him. What are you talking about? He, humanity could be super cynical and be like, oh yes, he's he, he at the end he changed his ways and try to use that for publicity and Ooh, blah blah blah. You get no, what I'm saying? No, no, no. They no, do no, that no, now. No, no. Yeah, they use that to get someone in power that that will that got against the mutants low key, and they want him. I can yes. see yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, the big Politics. thing, though, Politics. the big thing, though, is if Magneto died, it would have had a bigger effect on Charles. And we would have seen that instead of Gambit popping up and exploding in the vision of what the fuck Yeah, happened. why did you see Gambit not see Magneto? That's what I'm saying. Oh, I think the reason that they really to give you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You talk about anything. So, so he's, like, shaving him, which I think is a huge, like, power move and 
like trying to intimidate somebody Tell knowing me. that man can like destroy you if you take off that collar bro yeah but bastion uh, for those of you guys who don't know he is from the future yeah. and he is practically a living cybernetic sensible so he's getting duffed by magneto later right hopefully yeah. oh oh yeah hopefully. no 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 magneto's getting his his back his his like run back yeah. We've established, we finished the episode. That's the end of the yeah, yeah, yeah. critique. We just going to start going on theories right now. Um, yeah, these are your friends. So, so, so tr- true top dog is Bastion, and he's using Sinister. Yes. Because he showed, he shows uh, Sinister the, um, the message sent out by the Shi'ar Empire, right? They found the, the signature, and he showed it, like, on the screen, like, it's televised or something. Right. And that's how they know that Xavier's alive. No, yeah, true, yeah. Yeah. What I'm saying is, what's the in like the he ain't the main villain. The main villain I, is gonna be Magneto again after. Well, in certain clubs we see that Magneto has his helmet back on, so maybe, or maybe he's just like, you know what, screw it, I tried Xavier's way. No, and it didn't work because we all died. And then, yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I'm th- at that point, I'm we go back to fair. that's fair. Yeah, then we go back to the Magneto. yeah, we go back to the thug shit, and then this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you have we, to, bro. We go back to murder. Bro, like, he, <laughs> we go back to murder. Look, he it's started, not that we he started with hatred, right? Yeah. Fought, fought years. His best friend died. He was on the opposite. He's like, for his honor, I'll do it. He yeah. tried. He was doing good. Right. He was at the brink of, okay, you were right, my guy. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. The world said, nah. nah. <laughs> Fuck you. Destroyed right. his home, his his peace, his literally mutant peace wait, country. Wait, wait. Like they do every time, because every time he has peace, yeah. they fuck it up. Yeah. Right? Right? The fact he was Jewish, concentration camp, yeah. all we saw those those playbacks too. Yeah. He lost his bitch again, Rogue, yeah. right? So, you know, heartbreak, wrong. heartbreak again, yeah. freely. right? They thought he was dead. Now he's captured again. Trauma, PTSD of again the concentration camp. <laughs> no, no, he's back to his thug shit. Yeah. It's not even worse. We're definitely going back to yeah, the thug shit. There's Niggas no coming dying. back from. And just to give y'all a little touch and time frame, Jesus. he literally spent a AOL 30 day trial and said, "I don't like this piece though." <laughs> 30 days, <laughs> really? and I'm back on my gangster. And the the, bro. the thing about it though is that he tried so hard. You know what I'm saying? He like, did so well. He was doing so good. He, he took people he to the to... atmosphere and yeah. said, "You get to live." I got. <laughs> I can talk you right now. You are ants. Hold on. I can talk you right now. <laughs> look at her. Look at look at Storm. She's gone. No She's powers. Gone. I will kill you, but I won't. Thank you, God. <laughs> and he and and no, he deserves to go back to death. And, and, and then he goes, absolutely. He goes, I won't, because I'm a born again Christian. But <laughs> <laughs> no, even no. He did it for my boy. He said, "Rest in peace, like Xavier." R.I.P. Yeah, 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 that's my boy. One last chance, and yeah, they fucked it up. He bro. did tell him. He did tell him, "Help me be better, bro. Help me help you. Do not push me. Do not push me. I will end your life." <laughs> they fucked around, found out. Whatever happens from here on, yeah. I'm teammate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but he no, did. absolutely time not. Bro. Time out. Time out. A line has we to be set. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, but that's exactly This is about it. more than just rights. This is about fucking personal issues, bro. They attacked this man in every aspect of his life. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. I am Team Magneto. <laughs> bad guy, the, all the bad guys need to die. All they the will bad be, guys need to die. Right? Casualties will be what happened, but guess what? Not. <laughs> Sacrifices will be made, but it's yeah. all. Guess who's, whose fault is that? Yeah. The government, yeah. the people who are anti mutant that's on yeah. their hands, yeah. not on his. Yeah. He's a look, I'm doing what I gotta do now. I tried, and guess I what? Tried I don't so even, bro, you know, he's when you're truly angry personally, yeah. when I you, can tell you when you're not. <laughs> no, 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 when you have that certain rage where you're calm, that's what we make me know. He's not he's even gonna come back with a fresh cut. <laughs> He's not even saying anything, just choking people. Hey, his head popped straight off his body, bro. That man is gone. If you're wearing a Cuban link, you are fucked. <laughs> like, he's just gonna choke you. <laughs> no. is, that, is that platinum? Bow! <laughs> no, the one, the one dude with all the jewelry in his fake. <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> he can't kill you. Oh, no, no, no. He goes, um, with your grill. He goes grill. to government officials, he's like, hmm, is that a 
Is that pacemaker in you? <laughs> All right. Hey, for real, the bro, uh, Don, bro, he gave him too many chances. He really bro. did. He really did. He did his best, man. And so now it's up. I'm I, my, my oh, but up to this point, up to this point, we are led to believe it was humans. Yeah. But we know now. No, no. Here's the thing, bro. That is no. true. Still, 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 because that sentinel was made from humans, right? Sure. Fair. All that Sentinel did was feed into the human fears, into their ugliness. Well, that's his program. At the, at, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's still in that Who world. Made... Society choosing that because so that's just because just Bolivar like Oliver Trask made the Sentinel. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm but saying that... Sinister activated because at, up to this point, Genosha, the UN was actually trying to to work peace, so right. it made it look like it was the humans who messed it up. Up to this point, to so cause the beef that put him in power. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But that's just the tipping point. point. That's just the tipping point. But everything before, it was all a choice from the beginning, from humans, from the government. It was you know, all bro. a choice. It was all a choice, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had yeah. they chosen understanding, whatever, whatever, this could have happened, and I think they it, things could have still worked. I was like, hey, my bad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like. Yeah. There's so much shit that added on, dude. It's no, there's no. But it's pure manipulation because Sinister, a mutant, is the one who made the attack on Genosha, which was also um, manipulated by Bastion. It was still, it, feel, it was still, it was still fueled by hate, because you know, he, because he could have hit up all these officials, right? But if they had no ill will against mutants or anything like that, it wouldn't have worked, or at least not to the level it, it could have gone. It, it went. You know what I'm saying? It would be like, nah, that's a little fucked up. Well, I think the he still fuck with it's manipulation. Though. I think the trash yeah. stuff though still happens because Sinister just walks in the trash laboratory. He's just like, give me all your shit. I'm making all this stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's no, I'll kill you. All right, cool. <laughs> like, I, I think, I think it was outside of his control. That's why he tried to get out of it. I understand where you're coming from, yeah. me, where it is like a very like, well, y'all well, could have stopped this at chicken or the egg. Exactly. Message. Message. Well, even still though, y'all could have <laughs> y'all could have stopped hatred. this at so many different points. Bro, I'm telling did. you. And it got here. Now it's outside of y'all control. It, it but still, yeah. And now, and now it's in my control. I and think now this consequence. <laughs> personally, personally, I think Magneto goes back on his demon timing. Right? He started killing. He's everybody. doing it. Oh, right. Oh. On, on, on that point, right? Uh -huh. Since we know Xavier's alive and he's coming back, I want to see that conversation with Eric and Charles. I try to take care of your no, kids. Because, no, because. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, no, no, literally. Because yeah. yeah. Charles, what what is he going to tell him? He's going to be like, we... What, what is he going to tell him? What he's gonna, he's like, I did to the letter I of did, your goddamn will. I did everything you wanted me to do. And, and, and look into my mind. Take the helmet out. Look into my mind. Look all the shit that yeah, happened. Yeah, look what happened. Answer, please. Yeah. The, Charles will be like, I'm I'll, I'll kill these I'll, things. I'll, I'll <laughs> kill them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Get these niggas out of here, bro. No, no, I'll be like... All right, let's run out of game. Bro, can That's you imagine him? All right, let's go. Let's go. No, he got legs. He got legs now. He's like, ah. Yeah, he's taking that suit with him. He's stepping when he come back harder, bro. He, he bro, can you imagine if she with that fucking cape, nigga? Bro, can bitch. you imagine if she's petty? She's like, leave the suit. Damn. Wow. I, bet you, I bet you it's going to happen. Yeah, I bet yeah, you it's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. Call it now. That Call suit him. belongs to me, nigga. <laughs> it belongs to me. And the CR Empire. You ain't nothing. You, you just going to... Okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> I mean, technically, he just like he just crawls up to the ship. He just going her mind. I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jedi, you will let me keep the suit. <laughs> He's like, I already engraved my name on it. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheeks. got booty cheek cuts, bro. <laughs> Can't nobody else use this. It's, like, it's, it's a free BBL. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. We shit. are wild, bro. Yeah. But uh, yeah, bro. I'm with it. Hey, whatever, whatever. Uh, Magneto talking about from this point forward, it's up. I'm with it, bro. It's up. I'm tired. I'm so Magneto. tired of these motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> Just leave me alone. That's all I wanted was to be left alone. Not one did he ever say I'm gonna destroy humanity. He's like, I just. Let me be. Let me live. Yeah, let, let me in mind. No, I don't even want to. I don't even it. stay over there. We'll do our own That's thing. That's crazy because he it. went to Genosha and he didn't even want to be a part of the UN. He just wanted Genosha. Like, mm -hmm. let us be over here. We chilling. Like, let us. We cool. We don't, we don't mess home. with you. We don't mess with us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Magneto got to kill all of them. Yeah. <laughs> he got to. Yeah, absolutely. And bro. then he got to go back to his bullshit, and then the season after that is just regular X Men, but not today. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like I it's like '98 or whatever, but it's like <laughs> X Men '98. You know but it's like, but it's like back to the original X Men versus uh, Magneto. Yeah, yeah. I honestly feel that 
But how? Bro, leading as X Men, if that does happen, as X Men, how could you like? Like, well, let's, let's look into well, the characters you know, right now. Charles gonna have a speech, and then we all gonna be like, "Damn, he kind of." You weren't even here, <laughs> bro. <laughs> exactly. You weren't even for here. the team, bro, for Beast, for Nightcrawler, well, but that's what Cyclops, we and everybody were like, "But Xavier, like, Xavier, honestly, is gonna feel like crap." But at the same was like, time, Xavier, I know what you taught us, but like, the world. I was world here when we died. died. Like, yeah. There, I can't, there's no they're, rebuttal, they're gonna hold resentment that like you left us how come you never try to communicate with us but don't you think that that's a really good opportunity for them to get a new team because that's what the that's, that's what I'm leading that's what I'm leading to so let's look at people that's oh so who do you think is who's leaving Logan Gene Lo- I'm, damn near everybody Gene Logan uh, Cyclops is gone Beast probably leaves because nah, he's mad at him Beast stayed Trust. And then he Beast. probably leaves. He Pl- no, 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 no. Beast has no other house, bro. It's, it's there. No, no, no. I honestly feel it's Storm Jubilee is a new team. No, yeah, Plus, Storm and Jubilee, um, Sunspot, Sunspot, Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler stays. Yeah, and we get Colossus back. I think Night Team Xavier is going to be Nightcrawler, uh-huh. Wolverine. Okay. Nope. Jubilee. Why would Wolverine? Well, I guess Wolverine. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. No, yeah, you go ahead. Because because Wolverine has a huge attachment to to Charles Xavier for everything that he's done for him. Mm-hmm. He's helped him become a better person, so on and so forth. No, he wants him to unlock his memories. Bro. He, he wants to unlock his memory, but even then, let, let's let's think about it. No, yeah, you. In right. the comics, even then, Wolverine has stepped up as a leadership role on several occasions. Yeah. Right. Even when Cyclops was out and being a a complete a yeah. hole with with you know the X Men Avengers stuff with the Phoenix stuff. So let's use that as a reference. Right. Right. I think oh, the, the, the split is going to be between Sunspot going with Magneto, similar to how Pyro joined Magneto. I don't think that's the case. No, you like Jubilee too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, done. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's rich. He's seen other phone phone. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, but I, I like mm-hmm. they, they're building up this love thing. Well, that that's why you would make it so, so dramatic because... Star Cross lovers are now on opposite ends. I don't. Th- well, I'm. If you're saying from a writing perspective, that's Maybe. a more interesting way to go. Then that's fair. Yeah. But I don't. Th- I think the way that they've written it so far, they stick together because yeah. that's what, like, that's what they build into. It's yeah. us two. If they stick together, the one. Of, if they stick together, one of them is gonna switch up, bro. It happens all. It happens all the time. I think. I think. Lady I, think, I, think <laughs> yeah. I think. I think. I think the goal for. Well, I think the goal for a new team, like I don't see Sunspot not being a, pro- a part of the goal for a new team because you see him like helping out when people, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's exactly it. And- After everything that he saw, I think Magneto is the perfect person to make him be like, to truly make him embrace himself. Nah, because Magneto- is Jubilee though. No, 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 no. Because Jubilee, Magneto- Jubilee was doing the work already. Yeah. She already got him there. Magneto- is it always oh, like that people put in the work for someone else? No, 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 no. Magneto's sure. always been the side who's always gotten people that been in the struggle, right? Like, he you has like, not. No, he's been rich. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he doesn't have any, like, emotional attachment to, like, struggle, to hardship. You're right. Yeah, make me to go get his out of the mud. Yeah, he, yeah he's game, you know, he's the swamp. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Uh, this home. dude Hood murdered all his parents and has killed 19 police officers. You're yeah. coming with me. Like, yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what I'm like, trying to, in a, in a way, like, bring them back up and, like, embrace their power. Yeah, but, like, counterpoint. Like, hey, you killed... Do it for me now. Counter, counterpoint. Counterpoint. I want. I don't want to be seen as a punk. I want to be more. That's the guy that can get me there. He, but he's never. Think, he's never exuded that. that well, like, we don't know. It's we barely. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm, saying? I'm just saying. Like speaking from the perspective of like you know what I'm saying to somebody yeah. else like that that's seeing the same the same thing. I just think like their relationship is built to a point where he is about to follow Jubilee into whatever the next step is, yeah. right? That, that's and I feel like, like it will make a good plot twist so they can lead on to like Turmoil season two. Maybe season end, three he'll come maybe. back. No, yeah, like as a as a as a, a writing thing, I think that makes sense. But I think based on the character, like if you're thinking as a character that lives in the world, right? And you know him, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think the next option for him would be to go wherever Jubilee goes. So wherever she chooses, that's where I'm at. I can see him like And I, I feel like so, Jubilee so we're, we're we're gonna simp him. And then yeah, we got absolutely. Morph. I think Morph is definitely going to stay with Xavier. Um, I think one of the things that you could do that would be cool with Sunspot, though, is that he's on uh, Team Xavier, but he regularly challenges the opinion, right? Yeah. And if he's, like, working that way from a will he, won't he leave the group thing, then that's different. But yeah. I, don't think, I don't think Sunspot going from a... I'm hiding my mutant shit because I want to stay alive and not mm. mess up with my parents. I Go to a I'm a mutant 
ex- uh, extremist and I'm out here catching Martin. bodies and you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. That's a yeah. bit of a joke. He's a more of a political figure. He has to be careful with it. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. He would probably be more chill and then be like, well, at least I'm on the good guy squad and I'm here with Jubilee. Yeah, in case everyone does go out. Because like, my oh. mom might cut me off on my funds. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, I think, honestly, at this point, I think Gene is going to stay with um, Xavier, but Cyclops might be Team Magneto for a bit. No, I think he was on his own. We've but seen, we've seen no, it before. Bro, we've see, seen no, it. no, no, I can, I can see that happening. I think, though, I think, though, the only, I don't think there's a route for a Cyclops that isn't him and Gene retiring. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll see. Because I think they fixed their relationship Because Madeline isn't Madeline prior dead at this yes. point? Mm-hmm. I yeah. think they fixed their relationship shit, and then they just fuck off. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because, like, you know. at the end of the day, I don't, I don't see, I don't see any forward path for Jean specifically right now. Mm-hmm. Like, cause she don't got nothing going on. And I don't see a forward path for Cyclops because yeah, he's upset, right? But I don't think there's a way that you could write him into the story and still be interesting when Storm is gonna be the new leader of the team. Like, what is Cyclops doing? Even if he is over there- Again, right another reason why I say Storm and Wolverine will be good leaders. I can't um, wait for that, bro. That, bro, I said it from the very beginning. That team is about to be so lethal. Storm, Wolverine, Jubilee, Sunspot, Nightcrawler. Morph. Beast. Morph, yeah. Morph, Beast, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we the, need some new blood, though. We need we need Colossus. I think Colossus is coming soon. Have we done any of the younger, newer people? Aside from Sunspot, we saw Wolfbane and a couple of other uh, like new mutants in Genosha yeah, already. Yeah. Did they, they survive? Might be we don't yeah. know. Um, I'm saying, but like, like if, we the, did, if we did yeah. like next gen, like Spike, so like exactly, oh, dead. like uh, Boom Boom dead, yeah. Uh, oh, Boom ne- Boom was there, Boom yeah. Boom was in general, but like we haven't got like Negasonic yet, which would be tight. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I like Negasonic. You know what I'm saying? And like, um, did we do the New Mutants? Already? No, not many. Yeah, so throw them in. You know what I'm saying? Like Ooh. we can we can build another class up. Is what I'm saying. But see, we, we've cool. seen Magic. And she was part of the new mutants right, and that thing. So we we I think they exist already. Yeah, That's having cool. a no, yeah. X twenty three. True. Oh, bring X twenty three and make That'd your joint team Magneto. Damn. And then that Should way we challenge that way they can set up a whole little Logan solo story arc. Mm-hmm. There are plenty of things that we could do. Fun. There's plenty of things that they could do. We're really job. excited about it. Right, we're we're collecting nerds and we're here to help. To the death! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I think the series just continues to get better, man. Episode yeah. eight um, uh, has been stated that it's gonna be the best episode up to date. Cause every, every, everything since episode five has led up to this moment. Episode eight, nine, and 10 is gonna be leaving us with nothing but heartache, roller coaster of emotions, action, and what I presume to be an amazing cliffhanger for season two. For sure. I'm excited, y'all. Thank you guys for sticking around if you're still here. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. It really helps us out. What do you think is gonna happen with episode eight moving forward? What are your predictions? We really wanna hear it. Let's, uh, let us hear it in the comment section. Uh, I'm JR. Brian. That's it. Eclectic Nerds, we're out. Peace.